Hi and welcome. My name is Jamie Hartley here from Crossfader and in today's video I'm going to help you understand the powerful tool that is Rekordbox DJ. Now this is a real beginner tutorial for anyone that's just got their hands on a brand new controller, maybe the DDJ400 or even the DDJ1000, and they really want to understand how Rekordbox DJ works, specifically in performance mode. This video is going to help you better manage your music library. I'm going to show you how to import in a few different ways, how to analyze your music, and then loads of different organizational tools that you can use in this very powerful piece of software. It can be confusing when you're just starting out because it's quite a complex piece of software. So let's break it down. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. And if you have any comments, please drop them below. At the end of this video, we've got a special giveaway going on. It's only happening for a short period of time after the upload. We're giving away a DDJ400 and our Rekordbox Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced and Online Complete Scratching course. So this is a big prize to win. Don't worry if you're watching this in the future, we've got plenty more giveaways happening on our channel, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's take a closer look. Now that you've successfully installed the Rekordbox DJ software and activated the license as well as plugged in your controller, you'll be presented with one of two views. There is export mode for exporting your music library to a USB device to be used with Pioneer CDJ and XDJ players, and performance mode. This is the mode that controllers use and what we will be looking at in this video. The bottom half of the software is your music management area. Firstly, collection is everything that has ever been imported into the Rekordbox software. Next, our playlists. This is how to start organizing your music in subcategories, energy level, or even nights that you play out. There are many ways to organize your music library. My main tip is to keep it simple and create playlists for genres to start out. To create a playlist, click the plus icon and then name it. To import music into Rekordbox, you can scroll down to the iTunes tab or Explorer tab in the Rekordbox software. Depending on which you use, you can navigate to the folder or playlist you want to import. It's then a simple drag and drop into the playlist you have just created. Click the link in the description to sign up for access to our Crossfader music pack. This will help you get your music library started. As soon as you drag the songs in, the tracks will be analyzed. If they don't analyze automatically, you can select all and right click to manually analyze the files. Leave the options checked as shown here. Once the song has been analyzed, it will show some new data such as the BPM value, preview waveform, and key. You can show or hide different column headers. For example, we can get rid of the preview by right clicking any header and checking or unchecking the option. Column headers can also be rearranged. This is helpful for setting up your collection and music management system exactly how you want it. Click on any header and it will sort the tracks into ascending or descending order. Inside a playlist, you can also manually change the order of songs. Just click this column header to create a numerical order. Then simply drag your songs up and down the playlist. If any of the other headers are activated, you won't be able to drag the songs up or down. For extra music management, you can create folders. Just right click on playlist to create a new folder. Playlists can then be dragged into the overriding folder. We can even right click on the folder to create a new playlist within it. I'm going to call this bass and just replicate my Crossfader music pack by dragging and dropping from my actual computer. This is another way to import your music. The last folder we have in the Crossfader music pack is the Tech House one. For this, we could literally just drag and drop the folder itself into Rekordbox and it will create a playlist with the same name and import those files within that folder. Something to be aware of is if you rename the location of your files or even the file itself, Rekordbox will then struggle to find that file. You'll have to relocate missing files using the option within Rekordbox to reattach that file within the one that is imported in the Rekordbox software. Just think of it as that Rekordbox doesn't duplicate the files. What it does is it pulls from the location on your computer. So to relocate, click file, then relocate missing files. It'll show all the files that are missing in your library hit relocate and then what you'll need to do is choose an overriding folder that those songs are within. I'm going to go to the Crossfader music pack on my desktop and choose this rename Tech House 1 folder and then I can just choose one of the tracks within there and it will look and ask me if I want to look for the rest of the tracks from within that folder. Once I press yes it should then search and find the other missing files. Some more music management options to be aware of are the favorite banks which are located across this section here. To expand this, just click this icon 
and then you can simply drag and drop any of your playlists onto any of these blank lists. These lists are really useful for when you're playing certain events and you want your favorite playlists that might work at that event or at that party. You can quickly access those tracks for your sets. There are another two banks available so you've got plenty to work with. Next, it's worth being aware of the search bar. This is really useful for when you need to find those certain tunes. If you're within a playlist and use the search bar, it will only search within that playlist. Or if you click on collection and search, that will search all of the files that are in record box. You can also change some view options here with these two buttons. And you can even change the font size and the line spacing between the, the file names on your library. This is all done within the record box preferences. And this is a really neat feature to be aware of. There are also two other options to be aware of. If you click here, you can search through your library and collection by artist or genre or album. Just click a certain artist and it will show all of the tracks from the artist or from the album within your library. If you click the icon next to it, you can start tagging tracks. It's a really powerful piece of software is Recordbox and you can tag all sorts. You can tag them by color, by rating, by key. Um, and then you can start narrowing down your tracks using something called the master deck. The master deck is whatever is loaded on the player and labeled master here. This is usually the track that's playing out loud in the mix. If you highlight master deck within this section, it will bring up all the other tracks within the parameters that you've set and ticked in this setting. This can get quite complex, but it's a really powerful tool to narrow down your library to figure out what tracks to play next and give you ideas for what tracks to play next. Like I've just selected here, plus or minus 3%, so it will find all the tracks in my collection that are in the same key and somewhere within 3% of the BPM range. And there you have it. I hope now you can better manage your music library. Remember to download the Crossfader Music Pack to help start building that library up. It's full of exclusive tunes that you won't find anywhere else. And now for the big news, we've got a big giveaway happening. So if you're watching this video just after it's been uploaded, you have the chance to win a DDJ 400 and our record box beginner, intermediate, advanced and complete scratching course. This is the perfect package for anyone just starting out that wants to take their skills right up to advanced level. You're going to get the DDJ 400 delivered to your door as well as access to those courses. Now, how do you enter? All you need to do is click the link that appears or in the description and sign up with your email address and name. You'll be entered into a, into a raffle that will then be drawn out at random at the end of this 12 days of Christmas period that we're in. Good luck to everyone. Make sure to sign up and thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.